Hey guys, this is Veron from Sneaker of the Stars and welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing another one of those character design reference sheet thing. <laughs> I still don't really have a name for these things but we are doing some character designing details for the outfits that I do for my characters. So today we are doing one for the character named Kin Ordina. He is this supposedly traveling, uh, sort of, kind of bard, I guess, adventurer, bar bardish, free spirit kind of character. Uh, I've made him years and years back. He's like this blue eye, oh, green eye, blue hair, a oh, dragon guy, I guess. And yeah, I, I like his outfit, and it has a lot of panels and pieces to it. So he's one of those characters that I feel like really really do need like a sort of reference sheet for it. So if you're kind of new to this channel or if this is the first time you're watching one of my videos, hi. Um, these drawings or these reference sheets don't really serve any purpose aside from my own satisfaction. Uh, <laughs> I just really like drawing clothes and designs for my characters since I was very young. And I really enjoyed doing these things. Like you know how in those um, like art books for games and stuff and I guess uh, movies and stuff like that, they'd have character design sheets for the characters in those things and you'd have like a turnaround of the character. It's gonna be a zoom in on this like detail on his wrist or this detail on his chest or or her her hair or stuff like that. I really, really have loved those since I was young, and I guess that's what's trying, what I'm trying to emulate here with this drawing. I want to do that kind of thing for my own characters. And yeah, I mean, I just like drawing clothes. <laughs> why, why didn't I become a fashion designer? What, what did I do in my life? <sighs> So regarding this thing, it's meant to be kind of loose and sort of sloppy. So I wanted it to be in almost flat colors. You just want to see the basic shape and the line art of the entire drawings or the references. So there's minimal shading, minimal lighting. Like even the colors are going out of bounds here and there. The line weight is close to non-existent. So it's meant to be quick and easy to do. Typically, I I do these in a day, and or maybe two days, depending on how many parts of the reference I want to make. But they're meant to not be super polished, and it depends per character. So I've done a couple where they all just kind of wear cloaks or coats and stuff like that. So I mean, Ken is one of them. I'm sort of obsessed with cloaks and coats and jackets. Uh, sort of my thing, but. Um, a lot of them wear do do wear that, but Ken is one of those, those characters where he has a lot of little details on his outfit that if you don't really see it from a different perspective, you might miss something or you might not understand how it really works. So him and his brother have a you know, that is his brother Cal has a hood on his, but uh, yeah, there's a lot of moving parts, I guess. So for Ken, we did like the side of his outfit and sort of the back of his, his outfit is to show how like those um, panels cut and are there cuts in the back because you know he's a dragon guy, a dragon boy, he has wings that he can go out so as with most of my characters that do have wings, they will have like little slits so they can pop those out and or slip those in and whatever. <laughs>
this one thing I'm actually kind of really proud of in this particular drawing is that even though this was supposed to be kind of sloppy and not really not not much of my brain cells were working when I when I made this, I actually really do love how the shading turned out. And I don't know how I did it. I I'm using all the same brushes, all the same settings. It's probably somewhere in the color picking that I did, but the shading, the shadows are so so nice. I why can't I do that consciously? <laughs> and uh, oh, me, how I how? <laughs> so nice. Like I, I love the, the the blue shade on on the teal part. The shadow on this gray part also look, turned out pretty well, and I'm like, how I'm I'm <laughs> how do I do that? <laughs> <sighs> Tears. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> I, I popped in to just to express my woe that I can't seem to replicate that, that shading that I did. <laughs> and I guess while I'm here, since I popped in anyway, uh, let me know how you guys are doing in the comments. I mean, usually my viewers don't really comment anything, but um, how's life here in my country? Uh, cases are still a thing. Still not safe at all to go out or work whatsoever. Still wearing masks. Still being, you know, dripping in alcohol whenever you touch anything on the outside. Uh, I'm actually have to go out tomorrow. <sighs> After, gosh, how many months has it been since I last went out? So I went to doctors once. That was in. <laughs> I don't even remember when I went to the doctor. Uh, June, July. Um, um, <laughs> somewhere around that time, I guess. And I'm so, I, and as much as I don't want to go out, I have to, because I mean, my teeth are getting busted. I'm pretty sure my dentist will just cry at the state of my teeth right now. I hope nothing gets pulled out, because, jeez, I don't want to have my mouth open any longer than it needs to be. I guess but it has to be pulled out to get to that state, but. Actually, funny story since we're on this topic. Um, so I kind of quit my job at the start of the lockdown and like I said, hey, I'll quit and then I'll take a week off to rest and to chill out and then I'll go to the dentist next week when I have money and stuff like that. And then two days later, the lockdown was put in place. Everything shut down. No one's allowed to go out except for like groceries and stuff like that. So that doctor, so that, that dentist appointment quickly went away to the yeah <laughs> to the to the void. And within the same month of me saying that and all of that happening, uh, one of the pasta fillings fell out. And I don't know if I've told the story. I think I did. I don't really have much stories to tell now that lockdowns happened, but. Uh, yeah, so the filling fell out and it didn't really hurt for a long while. It's a little sensitive to pressure, but used to that eventually. I am just careful when I'm drinking something hot or cold because I don't want to feel anything. But my parents' teeth, like my dad and my mom, they've both been getting worse. Like, there's actual pain involved. Mine's just like, uh, you know, that, that electric feeling when, when something's open, but it's not actual pain on my end. But it's pain for others. And they go into the dentist and they said, Hey, might as well bring you along since you have some busted teeth in there. And rather than waiting for it to actually get totally busted, better come along. And I didn't want to because uh, I don't want to go out. I, it's virus. <laughs> I, I don't want to. Uh, but I got, you got that, you know. I mean, you can't really avoid it for that long. And I know a lot of people already are going out at this point. They're going to their jobs. Some people are like chilling out in the mall a little bit. Not really super chilling, but you know, they're going to the mosque. They're going out of their houses. I pretty much haven't except going to like my doctor for a checkup and and this a dentist. And then I guess one another in November because I need to get another checkup to like, you know, meds and stuff like that. But yeah. I I as I doctor's visits, I really haven't gone out of the house and it's kind of wearing a little bit on my brain, on my on my mental psyche because I'm a sort of a, I'm a bit of an extra, no, 
I'll start with, I'm an extrovert. I was, I just enjoy staying at home, but I am the loud, energetic kind of person. I like being around people. So, I've been able to last, my record was nine months, I think, back when I graduated from college and um, it took me nine months to get a job. I am about to break that record and I hate it. My, I'm getting cabin fever of sorts. Like, I want to go out. I want to go and seize the day. <laughs> I know that's not exactly what's going to happen when I do go out, but jeez, I... Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, well, I just pretty much talked about that this entire time. I was expecting to be quiet, but yeah. Anyway, if you enjoyed that little ramble and the drawing that was happening in the meantime, uh, do like the video. And if you actually really did enjoy all of that, do consider subscribing. I draw a lot of anime-esque drawings and arts and stuff like that. So if you want to see that, go ahead and subscribe. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and DeviantArt for other things. And stay safe, wear a mask, alcohol your hands like crazy, and six meters apart. Bye.